Hi everyone, it's me, Jordan Long, and today I'm going to talk about, you know, this one thing. Well, it's nothing bad to talk about, but yeah, I have talked about this before, but hey, it's my YouTube fairway, so I think I can talk about it as many times as I need to talk about it. And there are those out there who don't like remakes of anything, whatever you want to call it, then you don't have to watch it. So anyway, everyone probably asks me why I never ever shift out my films. Or why I never worked with the ArcSoft one. Well, I don't got ArcSoft anymore, so I can't work with it anymore. But why now I don't work with the Microsoft one? Well, let's just be earnest with all my times with the Microsoft one. And that seems to be the first one everyone goes to. Because that seems to be the first one It's on everyone's reckoner. Every Windows has one. But none of them are ever good. And then the ArcSoft stuff, well, HP used to have to deal with them when you got the HP Web Shooter. Used to have to deal with them, but uh, ArcSoft no longer, you know, makes stuff for the Reckoner anymore. They're more into the wireless far speakers these days. So, anyway, and then there was a Cyberlink, which I don't even understand why that was even on one. Yeah, explain that one, but that was the one that, that one was broken too. So, why I don't do anything with those ones? It never worked out right. Thalemar said it right. None of the ones I ever worked with never did well. And all the other ones don't do well either. Oh, my neck. So anyway, <clears throat> it got me to think, all right, so, <sighs> so yeah, they never worked out. And there was always going to be someone out there that somehow skilled any one of them. If you pick whatever one you want, there's always going to be someone out there that skilled it. And then they tell you that since they skilled it, you should be a, you should skill it. Well, I never skilled it. You know. Be like this. Well, I skilled the Microsoft one. Or I skilled the ArcSoft one. Or I skilled the Apple or the Sony one or Mackie Cam one or Cyberlink one. Well, good, you know, I skilled the last cut one. Well, good for you if you skilled any of them. Is I never did. The closest I got to getting them to ever work right was when you wanted to make your likeness brighter or make it darker or put some kind of beginning, middle, and end sheet in your films or put a name on your film. That seemed to be it. When you want to cut things out, uh, Microsoft One was a hit and miss. The Cyber, well, the ArcSoft One was more of a hit and miss and didn't do that. And the Cyberlink one, well, that fucker didn't do anything except film, and that was it. And I don't even want to know about this, uh, <coughs> about the Apple one, or the Sony one, or even the Mackie Cam one. And I bet you the last cut one are all really bad too. Yeah, some folks out there skill it, and some folks don't skill it. You know. That might be true. They, they all seem to be truly hard to work with. Yeah. For me, that's going to be true. And someone out there can take to these tools and they can learn how to make them work. You know? And I got my thought and belief over why this is. One, a lot of these folks they have a lot of time on their hands so they can make a film not care about it and then fuck it up besmirch it and then go oh so that's how that works and then next time that's how they'll learn how to do it because none of these film shifting tools come with any books 
or anything of telling you how what does what you just gotta learn as you go which is shitty but that's the way Microsoft and Arcsoft and Apple and Sony and Mackie Cam and Cyberlink and Last Cut and all these other businesses like to do their shit even the skilled offshoot of the freeware offshoot don't really come with that don't really come much with any books and if they do I don't really think those are even helpful you know so at the end of the day they're all broken none of them work right and I know there's gonna be someone out there saying what about the YouTube one the YouTube one is as bad and and doesn't work and is as hard as all the other ones I just talked about that I talked about well I'm sad to hear that you know that you know none of the, I'm sad to hear none of them worked out but film shifting and film cleaning it's not a law it's not an oversight so if you don't do it, it's no big deal and they do work for some and they don't work for all well that's good to know but go tell all the haters out there because they'll always keep saying oh shifting is your friend film shifting is your friend yeah well Jordan who cares what they think if that's their thought and belief good for them because they can't they can't make it true guess you're right about that King Kong yeah I am right about that and I'm someone who's had so many remakes and very no very few and not and no I have a, I'm someone who's had a lot of remakes but no follow-ups unless the follow-ups were you know yeah I understand yeah you had so many films and a lot of them were remakes and you didn't really have too many follow-ups yeah I know that is sad but anyway so but just let you know yeah those tools are too hard to work with you know and there are ones out there who scaled it well thank you for saying that yeah so anyway it is what it is you know you know it is what it is you know so at the end of the day you know that's why I don't do any film shifting that's why I don't work with the Microsoft one either though Microsoft still makes their film shifting tool and I don't work with the Arcsoft one anymore because as I told you Arcsoft no longer makes any of their stuff for reckoners anymore anyway and I don't work with the Cyberlink one because Cyberlink doesn't well we all know that so at the end I don't even work with the YouTube one because that one's broken too or broken or hard to work with that's about the same you know so if there's someone out there who's skilled any one of the ones I've talked about good for you good for you for skilling it because I will never skill it they'll ever be too hard for me to work with you know and it is what it is I'm Jordan Long and I hope you like this film.